Hello, Professor Howlett. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. Um, this is the 25th ECR in Vienna. Um, when was your first ECR? My first ECR was actually last year, 2018. Um, which was when I was invited to attend the ESR Audit and Standards Subcommittee for okay. the first time. Um, and it's, uh, as we were discussing, it's uh, dramatically different in terms of the weather at the moment. Right. Minus 15 last year, and you know, now we've got the most amazing weather outside. Incredible. And it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I've just arrived yesterday, so it's my first day at the Congress today, and it's been a, you know, fantastic so far. Very, very busy and well organised, but has got a very good feel about it this year. What was your impression last year, your, fir your first visit? Um, it was, I was impressed with the size. Um, the Vienna, of course, is, is an amazing city, absolutely beautiful. Um, it was different last year because there was snow, an awful lot of snow. A lot of people hadn't been able to get here as well with the weather. Um, but uh, I think the Austria and Vienna seemed to deal with the weather a lot better than the UK. Absolutely. That's for sure. The trains were running, for instance, <laughs> and people were, you know, the whole place hadn't, hadn't shut down. Um, but no, I, I, I very much enjoyed uh, ECR last year. You know, it was very professionally run, and tremendously well organised. But if this year, if anything, I think it's even better. So, as you mentioned, you are involved with the Audit and Standards Subcommittee. That's you? right. So you, you're in fact the chair. Of the, yeah, of the I, I, was, I came in last year to my first committee, where I was I was also asked to take over as chair last year. So, but this is my first actual um, congress where I've been chairing the subcommittee. So can you tell us a little bit about the benefits of effective clinical audit? Well, clinical audit is it's a, it's a well-recognised tool that's very able to improve patient care experience and outcomes. And essentially, just you know, briefly, it, it involves, you know, for radiologists, radiographers, you take an aspect of your practice and then you compare it to established standards or targets and you see how you're doing. You know, are, you, are we meeting the standard? Um, sometimes you'll find that you don't, and in that case, you need to make changes, look at the the pathway, other things we can do better, and then institute institute those changes. And then after a period, you talk, you do something called closing the audit loop, and you you re-audit and have a look and see if your changes have improved things. Okay. So, what is the purpose of the the Esperanto clinical audit booklet? Um, Esperanto is a publication uh, of the ESR. It was first, the first iteration was um, published in 2017. And it's, it's a document that's in two parts. It has, the first part is a guide to clinical audit. So it kind of explains what is audit, what are the benefits, uh, why should you do it, how can it help you as a clinician or radiographer, radiologist. Um, and then the second part is, is a, um, something called an audit tool and that contains, contains a number of templates and these templates are suggested audits so they give they give uh, interested people you can have a look at it you can get some ideas from it and you can actually then develop these templates you can adapt them you can edit them and do your own audits so it's it's i think esr very much sees clinical audit as a, as a key priority and really wants to support radiology departments in developing this right so why esperanto where did that name come from my understanding is that that was a language. It was, this, I think, it's relatively uh, long-standing language that was designed to transcend national boundaries. It would be a, a language that everyone would would speak, and I think that was the, why the original name was was chosen. It was wanted Esperanto, the audit document. Uh, it was felt by the committee that they wanted this to, as I say, transcend national boundaries and really to be used throughout the whole of Europe. Okay. But I would say that it is in English. Right. Good, <laughs> good to know. <laughs> so that there's a new version of the booklet. There what, is. What, is it, what does that add to the old one? Yeah, well, we've, we've uh, given it quite a sort of uh, facelift. Um, the, the original document was, was a very effective and a very good document. But I think what, what's happened that's kind of changed things a little bit is that in 2018, the European uh, Commission publication, the BSSD, the Basic Safety Standards Directive, became law in all EU member states. And within that, it, it mandates that clinical audit is, has to be undertaken within departments. It doesn't say how that needs to happen, but it does need to happen. And the, um, the Esperanto is designed partly to accommodate that change. It's now legally required. Radiology departments have got to do it and they've got to be seen to do it because there's the potential for inspection. 
um, by uh, national bodies. So the new Esperanto has got a, an enhanced section around audit, particularly around the legal requirements, but also we've expanded the templates. So there's many more radiation protection templates, but also we've introduced some clinical service templates as well. So there's around 30 templates in total. Okay. And how is the ESR going to make this available to radiology departments? That's a good question. And it's a complicated question. Um, we are aware that Esperanto hasn't hasn't percolated out as far as we would like. Mm. Um, but what we had an audit committee meeting today and we've, we have talked about that in detail and we, it's really, really important that this document gets out there. So it's been highly profiled at, at ECR 2019 where it's been launched. We're going to send it again to all national societies within Europe and we're going to try and actively work with them to make sure it gets out to their member departments. But we're also going to try and take it out to ESR members as well directly so we can try and get in, into the ground level. Right. Are there any clinical audit related sessions at the Congress? We have a number this year. Uh, we have one this morning. Uh, it was a coffee and talk session this right. morning. It's the first time I think we've tried that with mm -hmm. audit and that was well attended. It was, it, it was really interesting, a lot of interesting questions. And I, I would say that the turnout was a lot better than last year right. uh, at the audit session and I think that suggests to me that there is an increased understanding amongst radiologists, radiographers throughout Europe, that audit's actually getting a lot more important. We've got an, another audit session later on today at four o'clock, and then we're doing a combined audit session on Friday. So we've got three dedicated audit sessions, which is really good. Great. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Thank and you. Enjoy the rest of the Congress. Thank you. And the weather. Thank you. <laughs>